Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the CTO Advisor. You know what? We're still here at VMworld creating great content thanks to our sponsors, HPE, Citrix, Commvault, VMware, and Dell EMC. VMworld 2019 announcements. Yesterday on the stage, Pat gave, got up. One said that he got up at four o'clock in the morning, so we have that in common. The difference is I go back to bed, he goes on his Peloton bike. What were the big announcements from VMworld 2019, day one? The biggest announcement is that VMware vSphere is full on embracing Kubernetes. In what way? Before, you know, we had the relationship between VMware and Kubernetes with PKS being the centerpiece of the VMware story and PKS ran on top of or inside of the hypervisor in VMware vSphere. VMware is eliminating that relationship altogether and where vSphere will now be a Kubernetes master and then you have Kubernetes workers as v additional vSphere nodes. So in theory, we're getting what Docker was not able to provide easy enterprise vSphere or easy enterprise Kubernetes management in an integrated platform. My friends over at theCUBE was very critical of VMware and this strategy. From a technology perspective, it's very impressive to integrate VMware vSphere in containers in Kubernetes. But from a business strategy perspective, is it enough to bet the farm on? We talked a lot about this in the past with VMware acquiring Pivotal, the blog post from Paul Fazon, their GM, and VP of cloud did a blog post where he mentioned Kubernetes 22 times and Pivotal Cloud Foundry only once. VMware is betting the farm on Kubernetes. But when you talk to folks in the community like Kelsey Hightower, talk to me, we say there's no money in Kubernetes. Kubernetes is infrastructure that we really, sh is, that we shouldn't care about from a business perspective but we should, from an infrastructure perspective, it's important infrastructure, but it's not important to a business strategy. We'll see how this plays out for VMware. The other major announcements, NSX Telco, VMware is going whole hard into expanding into the Telco space and trying to get NSX not only from a corporate perspective in companies like Verizon, AT&T, et cetera, but they're trying to get NSX into virtualizing the actual infrastructure of these 5G networks. We'll see how that plays. And Sanjay Poonin played up Workspace ONE. Uh, I'm a former VMware employee. I have to tell you the Workspace ONE experience was very enjoyable from a onboarding experience. But he talked about there being 7 billion people in the world, a couple of billion mobile devices, and why can't Workspace ONE be on every one of those devices? That's pretty ambitious. Uh, is there a direct line of value in that? Well, you know what, we'll see. You know, I'm thinking about third world countries with low powered endpoints and having very little access to data and, and, and broadband and if Workspace ONE will either improve or create additional overhead on that, time will tell. So overall, I enjoyed the keynote. That's it for this CTO Dose. Talk to you next CTO Dose. All right.